Let's take a look at the style sheet design process in Altova StyleVision. StyleVision is a visual style sheet design tool. In addition to producing electronic forms, each graphical design you create will transform your XML and or database data into HTML, Microsoft Word, and PDF formats. It also generates the corresponding standards conformant XSLT and XSLFO style sheets, which we can view and save separately if desired. OK, let's look at a simple example. We'll create a StyleVision design to publish news headlines in HTML, PDF, Word, and authentic eForm formats. The steps we'll follow are just for the sake of this example. In your own work, of course, you can create an endless number of creative designs and complete the steps in the order that makes the most sense to you. OK, let's click the Insert drop-down menu on the toolbar. As you can see, we can create a new file based on an XML schema, or a database, or we can even convert an existing HTML file to XML. For this example, let's choose the fourth option and create an empty design. Before we go any further, let's select XSLT 2.0 on the toolbar. This tells StyleVision to generate style sheets in XSLT 2.0 based on our design. XSLT 1.0 is also supported. Next, we can select our information source. We click the Add Schema Source drop-down in the Schema Sources Entry Helper window and browse to select the News Items XML Schema file. OK, next we can assign a working XML file. This will allow us to preview our output with real data. Under XML Files in the Schema Sources Entry Helper, we click the Working icon and browse to select the Headlines XML file. Next, let's add some dynamic content to our design. Dynamic content is driven by the XML source and will vary based on the data in the XML file. In the Schema Sources window, let's expand the schema tree and select the headline element. Now we can simply drag this element onto the main template of the design view. When I release the mouse button, StyleVision prompts us to specify how we'd like to insert the element. Let's select Create Contents from the list of available options. As you can see, the headline element is inserted with a contents placeholder that represents the data in our XML file. The headline element is surrounded by its parent elements. Because we've created a contents entry for the headline element, our design will display each headline in the XML file as a string. Now let's add some static content to our design. This content will remain the same regardless of the data in the XML file. First, let's insert an image at the top of the page. We place the cursor inside the Press Watch tag, then click the Insert Image icon, and browse to select the News Items image file. Next, we can insert a horizontal line under the image, by opening the Insert menu and selecting Horizontal Line. This inserts a gray line, and we can change it in the Styles Entry Helper window. Let's select the Color Group and the Color Attribute. Clicking the palette will allow us to select a new color, such as this blue. In addition to the built-in styles, we can apply styles from external CSS documents to the elements in our design. This will be covered in a separate module. Now that we've added an image and a line, let's add some static text to our design. First, we place the cursor above the News Items element and hit Enter to add some white space, then type Headlines. Let's use one of the built-in templates to format this text. We simply highlight it and right-click to select Insert, Format, then Heading 1. As you can see, this applies the predefined formatting to our heading. Next, let's click the center icon to center it. The final step we need to perform for this example is to apply style rules to our headline content. 
I can select the headline element by clicking it in the Schema Sources tree, or in the Design tree, or in the Design view itself. Now let's right-click to change the headline's content to a bulleted list. We can also highlight the contents of the headline's element and set the font to Arial in the Styles Entry Helper. Now that we've completed this very simple design, let's take a look at the output. The output is built dynamically as we work. We can view it at any time and switch back and forth to see how our design is being rendered in real time. OK, let's click on the Authentic tab, then HTML, then RTF, and PDF. As you can see, our single design has created output in all these media simultaneously. StyleVision has also generated standards-conformant W3C style sheets behind the scenes. We can view the XSLT style sheets for HTML output and RTF output and the XSLFO for PDF output on the respective preview tabs. All of this output will be saved with our design. We can also save one or all of the output files separately by selecting Save Generated Files from the File menu. The design we just created is a very simple one. StyleVision supports many other advanced features including CSS styles, JavaScript, and more which will be covered in separate modules.